Welcome back everyone. What a game. It looked pretty bleak at times, but the Lakers were able to pull it out. And thank goodness for D'Angelo Russell, who had 14 points during the fourth quarter alone for them tonight. And for a team that really struggled on offense, especially from the three-point line, D'Lo is the one really reliable option for them when it came to shooting, both from the three-point line and from the mid-range area too. And I mean, he really looked like preseason D'Lo out there once again, shooting 71% from the field and 50% for three. And then not to mention he led their team in assists out there too, accounting for 8 of their 28 total assists on the night. And for a guy that's gotten plenty of uncalled for slander directed his way so far, I love seeing this performance from D'Angelo Russell. Great game for him. However, he definitely was not the only takeaway here, neither from a good nor bad perspective either, with Anthony Davis, LeBron, and even Christian Wood accounting for plenty of the good here as well. Although I did briefly want to mention the bad first, which once again came in the form of poor transition defense, along with lackadaisical defense in general at times. And a guy that I would really like to see get a chance to help them out there would be Max Christie. At this point, Cam Reddish has become a complete negative for them on offense, and there's really not that big of a difference between them on defense to keep playing him over Christie. Now, we'll talk more about that tomorrow, but I think it's something to keep in mind going forward. But like I referred to before, we need to give plenty of credit to the Lakers frontcourt. And unlike their last game where Christian Wood did not play a single minute during the second half, let alone during the fourth quarter, he played the entirety of the fourth quarter tonight, which he also did during their game against Phoenix. Now, there definitely will be matchups where it's a bit hard to keep him on the court at times, but he is perfect for when they play against bigger teams like Orlando, and he made a big difference out there for them tonight, grabbing 9 valuable rebounds out there and even blocking 3 shots for them too. And between him and Anthony Davis, they were tough for Orlando to move down low. Again, it won't work for every matchup, but I really like with that duo, and actually this 5-man lineup combination has shown in general. With the one that I'm referring to including Christian Wood, Anthony Davis, LeBron, D'Lo, and then Gabe Vincent, that has been by far their best rated lineup this season, and it's now helped them both climb back and win both of their games so far. I imagine we'll be seeing plenty of both that and Christian Wood going forward for them, with all of that being said though, I'll let you hear from the Lakers about their win tonight. And after listening, let me know your thoughts about this game in the comments down below. Davis, uh, wasn't easy tonight. Orlando was just crashing the glass all night. In the final minute, you get a huge rebound, your 19th, then Christian Wood seals one with his own uh, ninth rebound. Uh, what does it take to kind of get it done in that way when things aren't necessarily easy in the other end? It's tough to win in the NBA. Uh, it's just a scrappy young team. Uh, they were 2-0, feeling good. Um, play fast in transition. They made some big shots. And... Uh, you know, we just got to find a way to win, you know, coming off a, a tough loss last night. Um, you know, whatever it takes to get the W, and we did that tonight. Did you get smacked in the eye a couple times? Usually it's Austin that's getting hit in the face all the time. You all right? Yeah, I'll be all right. Uh, it's part of the game, you know. Uh, I'm cool. All right, good. Uh, offensively, 12 for 18, really efficient night for you. Uh, what are you able to do on that end while still trying to give the team what you do on the defensive end? Um, just start being more efficient, uh, getting to my spots. Yes, sir. Yeah, big dog, way to hold it down. Uh -huh. Getting to my spots um, and just being confident in my game. You know, no matter what happens, uh, I'm always going to be confident in making all my shots and uh, the guys are giving me, giving me the ball position to be effective. Um, you know, when guys make shots and play well, um, you know, it kind of opens up the floor for me. So, you know, I just wanted to continue to be aggressive, stay aggressive, and, uh, you know, help my team get the win. One of the new additions I mentioned earlier, Christian Wood on the glass, but he's closed out both wins at home. What has he been giving you in the front court? Um, just another size on the, on the defensive rebounds. Uh, Playmaker on the perimeter, he can make shots. Um, you know, that's twice we hit him in the corner, you know, against Phoenix. And again tonight, he didn't want it. Um, so we're going to stop putting him in that corner because he keep missing the shots. But, you know, he's able to bring Lynn defensively, uh, contest shots. Like I say, big rebound from him uh, as well. Um, you know, he just bring another defensive presence to us and also offensive rebounding. So uh, it's good to have him at the end of games. All right, thank you, Anthony. Thank you. To get this one done, um, it was a hard fought win. You know, they came out and they played with energy. Um, oh. First, first, <laughs> first two quarters. Um, but we uh, we stayed together. Um, we, we locked down defensively. 
Um, we had a lot of turnovers at the end, but as long as we stayed together and locked down defensively, it was good for us. Darvin credited him in their ability to challenge you guys possession after possession. That final possession defensively, what were you seeing? Uh, just you know, doing everything I can. I, I think I was matched up with uh, Paolo, so um, whoever the play was going to be for, just try to be on the help side, try to rebound because um, they were sending like four or five guys to glass. Um, and I think there was one time that they came up with a, a loose ball, so Darwin was just telling me just worry about rebounding and defending. There were a couple sequences where either you made the first effort by the basket uh, on the ball, and then AD swooped in either to block it or gather rebound. Wagner, right? Yeah. yeah. That was 80-80, and then mm -hmm. there's another time, I think, where maybe AD made the block, and then you came in and got the rebound. Um, do you feel synergy when you guys are playing one another with one another in the back line? Yeah, I mean he's a, he's going like I said. I think I told you this before, and, and uh, last time we talked, uh, he's going he's going to always go for the block, you know. So I have to be that guy that's going to be that secondary guy to come and help him rebound or try and get the the secondary block if he can't get the rebound off a of block in that shot. So um, that's just that's just me just figuring him out and knowing how to play well. Paraphrasing, Darvin mentioned that you just grabbed some incredible defensive rebounds. What goes into being a strong defensive rebounder? Uh, just go get it. That's it. That's my mentality. Uh, your minutes have been impactful. Um, it's not just numbers. It's you know, the teams. The team's gone on runs. Um, how are you feeling? Um, your role kind of solidifying so far, very early so far. Um, not too much like worried about it. I'm just trying to get off on the defensive glass, especially. I mean, just whenever he's in there with A. Bron, um, especially A. Specifically, like. They're just two uh, huge presence on the defensive glass, and Christian gets some of the toughest defensive rebounds uh, I've ever seen anyone get. And so he and A being combined for, I think, what was it, 25 defensive rebounds? We needed every one of them. And before I get into us, man, just, just a huge shout out to Jamal Mosley and the job he and his staff are doing with that young group over there. I mean, they, they force you to play and compete each and every possession on both sides of the ball. They never stop coming. You can see the growth in that team, you know, albeit they're very young, but they, they, they make you play. And they put a lot of pressure on you offensively and defensively. So kudos to those guys. But a lot of lessons learned, you know, tough game, tough situation, tough team to face on the second night of a back-to-back, -back, especially that first night being an overtime game. Um, highly, highly contested, highly emotional game on Sunday. Uh, but I'm happy we pulled it out. Had a lot of great moments, different segments from different guys that, you know, helped carry us across the finish line. Kevin, was it a matter of time for D'Angelo to have a game like this for you guys? Absolutely. Low man, he, he just, you know, <laughs> He just his calm, his calm presence offensively. He's constantly thinking how he can get an advantage. Um, constantly concerned about you know making sure Brian, AD get get you know their touches and, and and they're put in the best possible position to succeed. And he's comfortable playing off the ball as well. And so uh, his ability to catch and shoot, especially when Brian down the stretch is is, is quarterback in our offense and getting us what we need to get. Um, Low is great out there. He, the knockoff screens, the AD coming up with Brian, that Brian AD pick and roll, paid dividends tonight. And, um, you know, having Torian out there, another strong defender with size. And, again, Christian Wood, his ability to be active on the glass and block shots as well uh, proved big. But d -Lo, you know, he stepped up big time for us tonight, big time. Darvin, um what can you guys? I mean, I think second chance points tonight were twenty to four for Orlando, and they're a bigger team. But you know, th this has been a trend a little bit um, in terms of teams and attacking the glass here for the last year plus. What's it going to take for this team to to become a better defensive rebounding team? And and knowing that the struggles, is there an opportunity for a player maybe like Christian to play even more? Considering that it has been a strength for him, it could be. I mean, it's just it's just a matter of continuing to work at it. That's it. I mean, continuing to work at it. Um, continue to highlight, you know, these moments, that particular segment of our game in terms of finishing possessions, um, trying to close a team out and not give them multiple looks. Um, 
it's just something you just got to continue to work at. There's no magic pill that's going to make it go away. I mean, you're going to have nights where you dominate the defensive glass, and you're going to have nights where you're there, you're in position, but the ball is slippery, it bounces off your hands, and, you know, weird bounces off the rim, uh, long rebounds that you don't seem to be able to track down. Like, it's a lot of different variables, but as long as we make our team aware of it, like, the two things I said, the, the beginning of our defense and the end of our defense, the transition defense and the defensive rebounding is something that we want to prioritize. Everything in the middle, uh, we can figure out. Our, our pick and roll coverages, our shifts and activity off the ball, off ball defense, we'll figure that out. But, again, just continuing to preach it and make them know how important it is, and they see it. You know, we saw it in Sacramento. We did a great job for the entire game and had a couple of misfortunate bounces that they were able to get a hold of and capitalize off of. So they're aware of it, and it's just something, you know, you can't get bored with talking about.